You didn't lose no time getting here, did you, Tad? No, I didn't. You are. Sit down. to call you off of that Anderson case, but I have something that I think you can handle better than our other operators. You're pretty well acquainted with that Twin Oaks country up north. <laughs> I ought to be. You remember I spent two months up there trailing that North gang. Well, here's something that promises to be interesting. A couple of days ago, the owner of the stage, whom they call Pop Warner, that operates out of Twin Oaks, disappeared with what do they suspect? Foul play? Or do they think he skipped out with the cat? I talked to Frank Norcross over the long distance this morning, and the president of the bank that handles the payroll. What does he think? He's completely baffled. But he did say several things that'll give you an opener to work on. It seems Pop Warner tried to make a loan on the bank just before he disappeared. Did he make the grade? No, he didn't. They can find no trace of him or the state. Looks like I've used it to get out of the country. There's no to lose, and I'd have you start just as soon as possible. There's a landing field at Meadowbrook, just north of Twin Oaks. I'll fly there and enter Twin Oaks undercover. That's a good plan, and I'll forward all communications to Meadowbrook. Well, goodbye, and good luck to you. Bye. It's funny to me that a fellow would disappear into the thin air, unless he skipped out of the country. You're not insinuating by any means that old Pop stole that money. Well, ten thousand dollars is an awful tempt. Might be something in that. Now that I remember it, he did try to get up from the bank. Needed money for his transportation line. through the mountains with a fine tooth comb. Jim and his party are still out searching. Maybe they'll have... Well, what I can't understand is what happened to Rana, Pop's dog. You know, they're always together. If the old gent had met up with an accident, he'd sure sent the dog back for help. Yes. And the dog not being here makes it look mighty suspicious. That's not true. Pop Warner wouldn't do that. He's not a thief. You don't believe that, do you, Mr. Norcross? Of course not, Mary. Pop wouldn't take a nickel, even if his life depended upon it.
There, there, old fellow. I wouldn't hurt him. Come on, let's be friends. There, that's the good doll. Right. There, there, boy. I won't hurt you. Let's be friends. Why, he's been shot in the back. Too bad, boy, you can't talk and tell me what's happened. I've been thinking about that dog. It's just possible that he might be able to identify the guilty party. I was thinking of the same thing myself. Ackland, that dog can put a rope around our neck. Not if we put a bullet through his hide first. Once he's taken care of, there'll be no living witnesses. I'll bring those murderers to justice if I have to call in every law officer in the state. I see. You're from the insurance company. Yes. Yeah. And I'd like to conduct a secret investigation. And in the meantime, I'd rather not have my identity disclosed. You can depend upon me, Mr. Saunders. And if there's anything that I can do... Get away. Anna had him caught. If we can find the pair of trousers it came from, we'll have the man we're looking for. We've got to find a place on that doll. He knows who the guilty ones are, and unless we keep him out of sight, they'll take another shot at him. I'll take him to my place. It's probably just in South Town. He'll be safe there. That's a good idea. They won't be figuring that he's out there. They'll be looking for him around the stage office. Be sure and keep him indoors. And don't let him out of your sight for a minute. Where are you planning on putting up while you're here? Oh, I'll get a room at the hotel. That will be necessary. I have a cabin right here in town. It's unoccupied, and I'd be glad to let you have it. Thanks, Mr. Norcross. That will give me a little more privacy. You'd better get started. That dog won't be safe till you get him out of town.
Well, here it is. Nothing fancy, but I hope you find it very comfortable. Thanks, Norcross. I'm sure I'll like it. And if you find anything here that doesn't please you, don't hesitate to call on me. I'll take care of it for you. Thank you. See you later. to her letting that dog out. We better rush the house and plug him. Take your time. You'll get us all in trouble. For the ceiling. What's the idea of mucking up the place? Look under my bed. Oh, I suppose you were looking for the missing money. That's right. I'm sorry to disappoint you, but it happens I'm here for the same purpose. You are? My name is Barlow, Mr. Sanders. Glad to know you, Barlow. Well, since we're both in the same business, we might as well work together. That suits me. But I think we'd better continue to work secretly. And we can meet here every night. That's a good idea. Up around every evening and we we'll compare notes. This is Ted Sanders, Miss Mary. I'm sure there's someone prowling around the house. Ron has been nervous and fidgety all evening. I'll be right out. In the meantime, keep the house dark and don't answer the door unless you hear two knocks. That'll be the signal. Remember, no rough stuff for the girl. All we want to do is get the dog. What's the trouble, Sam? Is there something wrong? That insurance dick, Sanders, he's headed out this way. We've got to hurry. We'll take care of him.
Knock twice on the door, and she'll think you're Sanders. You stay here. When I knock on the door, the chances are the dog will rush out, and then you pop him. Around that way, we'll head them off. I wonder which way he went. Sam, you go that way. Get me loose. Come here. Looks like you got one of them, Rana. You're in pretty bad shape. You'd better start talking before it's too late. Who bought that stage holdup? You're, you're wrong. I'm a deputy sheriff from the county seat. My name is Barlow. Barlow? So Barlow, that's interesting. Very interesting. Looks like Barlow is a popular name in this section, eh, Rama? It's true, whether you believe me or not. I was on my way to Twin Oaks when I was shot down. When I came to, my star and gun were gone. Or they even stripped me of my clothes. 
and put these things on me. When did all this happen? Last night. Near the forks. And ever since, I've been trying to reach town. Why did you attack the dog? I didn't attack him. He suddenly appeared from out of the brush and jumped me. He must have mistaken me for someone else. Are you gonna talk? I got your message. Good work, Sanders. Has he said anything yet? Nothing much, except that he tried to pass himself off to me as Barlow, the deputy. He's been unconscious ever since I brought him into dock. Say, maybe you'd better go in and have a look at him. You know everyone in these parts. Yes. Unconscious. I never saw him before. He's a total stranger to me. There's nothing much we can do until that fellow in there is able to talk. You believe that there are others involved? I'm sure of it. That fellow is just small fry. But through him, I expect to get the leader. I'll be at the bank in case anything develops. be safer if I got the prisoner out of town and over to the county seat. We'll have to take our chances on him here. It'd be fatal to move him now. All right, whatever you say. I'll go out and keep my ears open. I'll warn you if things get too hot. Thanks, Barlow. Ready to do some talking? I've already told you who I am. You won't believe me. If you were Barlow, then why did the dog attack you? And how does it happen that this patch came out of your pants? Well, I can explain that. I was waylaid and shot. When I came to, my pants had been taken. I found these on me. I tell you, these plants belong to the real murderer. That's why the dog attacked me. We'll soon prove that. Don't help him get out of those pants and put some others on him. Down, come. Everything all right, Mary? Yes, why? Well, I'm going to make a little experiment, and I might need uh, Rana to help me. 
Well, it's kind of an experiment. Come along, you see. Come on. What happened, Doc? Sanders, I'm afraid he's fooled us both. I came out here to get him a pair of pants, and he clipped me from behind. But, Doc, he didn't seem to have strength enough to get up off that cot. Are you sure he's the one that hit you? Well, he was behind me, and I... I couldn't actually see, but... He's gone, isn't he? Yes, he is gone. Maybe the dog has scented something. I knew he didn't have the strength to get very far. I felt all along he wasn't the one who hit you. Do you think his pal closed his mouth before he had a chance to do any talking? Doc, I believe he was telling us the truth. And that he was the real deputy? Then who is this who claims to be Barlow? That's what I intend to find out. Everything come out all right? We've got nothing to worry about from that deputy. He's out of the running for good. But that insurance bloodhound, Sanders, he's got me worried. I saw him talking to Doc Adams. I think he's wise to me. Well, there's only one thing to do, and do it quick. Now, wait a minute. Not that way. I've got a better plan, and I think it'll work. I guess I can let him have the money all right, Doc. That's fine. Mr. Norcross, I think I've located the man we're looking for. You mean the one responsible for Pop Warner's murder and the payroll robbery? You come with me and judge for yourself. Bring along that list of banknote numbers. Doc, you'd better come along too. I want you both to bear witness. right where I found it because I wanted witnesses. I wonder where the rest of it is. Maybe Sanders could tell us that. Why, well, it, it seems incredible. He's supposed to be the insurance company operator. Why, yes. He showed me his credentials and they seem to be in order. They could easily have been forged. But this is the stolen money, beyond a doubt. How did you come to suspect Sanders? Didn't it seem rather strange to you that he should conveniently find Pop Warner's body 
when searching parties had spent days and days scouring every foot of the country around here? I never thought of that. But now that you mention it, it does seem rather strange and suspicious. I think my next move is to find Sanders and make him talk. I think you'll find him at Molly's ranch. Everything tastes all right? Does it? Miss Molly, after eating in restaurants as long as I have, you know what a treat this is. Thank you. You know, there's nothing like good food to make a fellow want to quit roaming around and settle down. like they mean business. I wonder what they're up to. You ever see this before, Sanders? Why, yes. I've seen lots of money before. I mean these particular bills. Just what are you driving at, Barlow? This happens to be some of the stolen money. I found it concealed in your cabin. Sanders, I arrest you on suspicion of the murder of Pop Warner and the holdup of the Twin Oaks stage. Why, this thing is crazy. Mr. Norcross can vouch for me. Credentials have been forged before, Sanders. Just a moment, Barlow. While the evidence is very damaging, nothing has been proved as yet. Naturally, that's for the court to decide. But it's my duty to place him under arrest on suspicion. If that money was found in my cabin, it was planted there. I swear I had nothing to do with it. Come on, Sanders. Let's get going. I hope you'll give me a chance to clear myself, Miss Molly, before you pass judgment. You sure you fellas got everything straight? Yeah, we're all ready. You sure you fellas got blanks? Barlow will take care of Sanders. You better not take him into town, Barlow. They're figuring on taking the prisoner away from you. How'd they find out about this? Well, I don't know, but... Uh... That looks like some of them now. Come on, Sanders. We're starting for the county seat right now. Or you'll never stand trial. with one gun, we'll try to lose them in the rock.
You better let us have him, Bo. We've got you cornered. Sanders, there's too many of them for us. Somehow, I don't believe you guilty. But if they get their hands on you, you won't have a chance. You better sneak down and get to your horse. I'll try to keep them busy from here. Are you turning me loose? Yeah. You better hurry before it's too late. Thanks, Barlow. Come on, Nolan. You boys take the horses. Looks like you fit him, Barlow. I can't even see him. He must have fallen down among the rocks. Well, that makes everything perfect. Now I can go back into town and report that the prisoner tried to escape and I had to shoot him. And I was unable to recover the body. I'm not dead, Doc, even though Barlow thinks otherwise. Look, Doc, I've come to you because I believe you'll help me prove my innocence. I've been framed. Barlow is in back of everything. And if you'll do as I say, I'll prove that he's the one that killed Pop Warner and robbed the stage. Sanders, your guilt was pretty hard for me to swallow. It just didn't make sense. Thanks, Doc. Barlow knew that I suspected him of being a fake deputy. He tried to kill me to save himself. What do you plan to do about it? Doc, I want you to spread the report that my body has been found. Then I want you to hold an inquest over my supposed remains. I'll give you a list of the men I want present. Right, Sanders. you were dead. If they see you, your life won't be worth a cent. I had to come back, Barlow. I believe I have a plan to clear myself. Well, as your friend, I advise you not to go in there. They're pretty bitter. Well, I'm going in. You're not looking at my ghost, gentlemen. I am very much alive, I assure you, in spite of my reported death. I've come back here because I'm innocent of all the charges made against me. I'm accused of being an imposter, a murderer, and everything else. But in a few moments, I hope to be able to point out to you the man who is guilty of all the things I've been accused of. Take a seat, Mr. Deputy. Let's uh, be seated then.
Gentlemen, I thank you for coming. I won't keep you any longer than is necessary. I'm just waiting for one more arrival, and then we'll get down to business. By the way, Barlow, I almost forgot your chief phoned that he was riding up from the county seat to attend the inquest. I reckon that's your man coming now. I'll plug the first man that makes a move. Well, Mr. Fake Deputy, you walked right into my little trap. I am for the double murder of Pop Warner and Deputy Barlow, and for robbery of the Twin Oaks stage. Do you think I'm going to take a rap for everything? Don't move. We're taking North Cross with us. If anybody follows us, I'll plug him. Come on. There's enough money to get you out of the country. You better get going. Hey, wait a minute, Norcross. We've done all the heavy work. We've taken all the racks. You think I'm going to take that chicken feed? Well, what do you want? That's more than your share. We're going to need plenty of money where we're going. But that wasn't our deal. You got him, Nolan?
Reach for the ceiling, both of you. Drop that gun. Where's Noah Cross? He got what was coming to him. Come on, get out. Here they are, Doc. Take them into town. Where's Norcross? I've got a hunch these two finished him. You watch them while I go back and take a look. You're a bunch of chumps. Norcross is the brains behind the whole thing. Yeah, he's been losing the bank. He stays a hold up to cover himself up. He tried to hog everything. You hold them while I get Norcross. I'm going after Noah Cross.
Well, Mary, after the insurance company settles, you'll be able to resume business again. Now that it's gone, I don't think I'll be able to operate it long. You know, I've always wanted to own a stage line ever since I was a kid. After I turned in my report, I might drift back this way. Then you'll be back? You can start making out the partnership papers right now. <laughs> <laughs>